Good morning. So I was going to share this on a story, but it doesn't give you very long and I talk too much. So it's coming in video form. Anyway, this one's a really important one. And I want to share this one with you today, because if you're a lady who's been through weight loss clubs, you're going to understand this massively. So I had a message from a client today who I'm working with at the moment, who has been through weight loss clubs, uh, been there years and years. Typical thing, put a couple of pounds on, lost a couple of pounds, couple of pounds on and off. Typical thing with the weight loss industry, right? And the weight loss clubs in particular. Anyway, this lady finally came to me like completely at the end of a tether, like, oh, I just can't do it anymore, you know, I'm stressing out, I don't seem to be making any progress. Anyway, came into my um, program, understandably a little bit like, I'm not sure if this is gonna help me, I've tried everything. And one of the big things I do here within my consultancy is make sure that we are process driven, make sure that we're working on the different variables of fat loss and that we're not just concentrating on scale weight. And ultimately what I find with people who go through weight loss clubs is their gold standard metric to judge their success and their fat loss is the scale weight. And it's the worst metric to track in the short term. It fluctuates, it's all over the place, it doesn't give the bigger picture of weight loss of what's going off. And ultimately, a lot of ladies judge their self-worth by the number on a scale, which is like just a nightmare, like it's never a way forward. So got this lady into the program, working through her first phase, educating her around nutrition, making her understand that we can have foods that we enjoy while losing body fat, and we can still, yeah, lose fat while doing that and enjoying our life ultimately. It's been a difficult mindset shift for her because, again, you know, going through weight loss clubs and the weight loss industry in general, yeah, it's a little bit skewed with mindset. And you know, they do look at kind of scale weights and they do like, you know, they like to ban certain foods and like to moan about sugar and like to tell you that chocolate's bad and carbs are bad. Anyway, it's been really difficult working on her mindset, but it's something that, you know, I'm really kind of really, really keen to keep working on because ultimately that is what will get her to, to kind of the goals that she wants, changing that mindset. And it, ha it has been tough, but I woke up to a message this morning and she's nearly through the first phase now and ultimately woke up to a message today going, do you know what, I can't believe it. I've been downtown, I've tried on some new clothes and you know, these new clothes, they're a size down and you know, they are fitting uh, the clothes I normally would buy. They're not fitting anymore, I've had to try a size down and this process is working. And it was really cool to see because again, this lady, from a mindset point of view, probably doesn't look in the mirror and think she's any different, right? And again, that's just kind of the mindset that the weight loss industry gives you and kind of, you know, judging yourself worth by the scales. But ultimately, she now can't deny that she's losing body fat and she's changing shape. And I could tell in the message how buzzed she was by this. And this is just the big thing about fat loss. It's so important that we we don't just look at the scales. We work in different areas. We you know we we work on the variables of fat loss, and ultimately that we feel amazing about ourselves. And going down this process with her is going to be so exciting. So I'm going to teach her the correct things, the things that are going to get her long term results, and the things that are going to keep her pushing forward. So ultimately, enjoying her life and having the body that she feels confident in. So. I understand if you're in a weight loss club or you've been through a weight loss club that you can ultimately just look at your scale weight all the time and be really stressed by it. If you're one of those people watching this thinking, oh God, that's me, you know, I stress about scale weight, take your mindset away from scale weight. It is a really poor short term metric. You've got to be working on different variables of fat loss. And I totally understand that it goes against the grain of what you've learned and what you kind of believe in the world of weight loss and how to lose fat. But I promise you, take your mindset away from those scales, work on the process, work on the different variables, understand that you can have chocolate. There is no kind of, you know, moral value on food. You can have what you want. You just have to manage it correctly for, for your energy needs and for your kind of lifestyle and, and your daily challenges. But ultimately, we can enjoy our life. We can put foods in there that we do enjoy and we can still lose weight. Ultimately, doing it the right way gives you your life back. It takes you out of a kind of systemized, oh, you know, I can eat this food, I can't eat that food. You know, it takes away that stress when you go away uh, on holiday. You know, a lot of my ladies at the moment are away on holiday, enjoying their holidays because they've not got to think, oh, I can't drink wine, I can't eat chocolate because I'm on a diet. What we do here at the program, we don't put people on diets, we just educate them, we work them through a five-phase program, which ultimately gets them to the place that they want to be with their body shape and teaches them how to keep that result and then move on afterwards. So, any questions about anything I've just said, drop me a message. Uh, apart from that, have a good rain of your day. I'll speak to you soon.